the back of your brain, you have something called the cerebellum back here. And that is also connected to the medulla, the brain stem. So that is responsible for your uprightness, your posture, your extensor tone, which is the extensor chain, is, are the muscles on the entire back side of you. So this may look kind of simple, um, and it is, it is fun, but this is also really good for your brain, really good for your posture, really good for um, getting you out of flexion, which a lot of people, if you see them, they're sort of always chronically stooped over. Um, and also we're looking up with our eyes and focusing and working on concentration as we do this unconventional use of blocks on props, not your mama's props. And take your two blocks, or you can use more than two, or you can even use kids' blocks, which I did the other day, or Jenga blocks. But I'm going to lie on my tummy and just balance the blocks in various ways. And as you can see, I'm looking up at the blocks, and that's giving me something fun to play with. So then I'm going to try shifting onto my side. These are much easier than Jenga blocks <laughs> or kids' blocks. Coming all the way to my back. Shifting over now to the other side. Without dropping. <laughs> also trying not to lie on this microphone, which is adding another level of challenge. <laughs> and coming to tummy. So you can also try just starting on your on your back and shifting onto your side. And tummy. And shifting back. So training a vision involves three things. We need to be able to move our eyes while our head is still. We need to be able to move our head while our eyes are still. And we need to be able to move our head and eyes in opposite directions, which would look like this. For example. But today we're just gonna focus on using blocks, that's our unprops, our not your mama's prop challenge, for working with moving our eyes around a little bit more than we might usually. So we're gonna just place a block on the head. And that's providing some feedback some balance, and some feedback in order to extend upward against the block. Feedback, so that you can lift up against that item. And feel free to hold it with one hand because we're gonna walk around. So we're gonna walk around. You can walk just forward and turn around. You can walk forward and back. But as I do, I'm going to just shift my gaze to different places, just looking around. That could be a kind of continuous movement of the eyes, or that could be looking at one spot for a little while, looking at another spot for a little while. You could walk in different directions. You could walk sideways, turn around. But indigenous cultures who carry things on their head actually have a lot stronger necks, and more eye movement is required. If you're carrying something that you're trying to balance, you're not just going to whip your head around, you're going to use your eyes to determine. Unconventional use of props. So taking your block as if you were holding, if you were a server holding a tray or holding a teacup on a, um, on a saucer that you didn't want to drop. So you're going to bring that block down towards your belly and you can move your body around to accommodate and you're going to be turning inward, lifting up your arm, moving your body out of the way as needed, reaching it up, keeping it up toward the ceiling the whole time, and turning it, reversing the direction. So I'm turning in as I come down, 
reaching up so as not to drop my teacup and circling away as I come up. So I'm circling toward inward as I am down with the teacup and up above the head, I'm circling away. So technically that's, I'm rotating my shoulder inward down here and extraction. We would start up here and we would circle away up here, bringing it down and circling toward down below. So you could also do this in different positions. You could do it on all fours. You could do it on knees. Um, change direction so that you're circling away down there and up. Um, wait. <laughs> circling away from you down below and toward you up above. So you're just playing with this rotational aspect. And as you can see the whole time, that top of block is facing toward the ceiling. So I'm not changing the orientation there. 